I'm happy to say that uh, it is still possible to find documentary films in theaters in, on big screen where you can share the experience of watching the films with uh, audiences and I think this is something what is very special and unique and it is something uh, what is uh, uh, what is satisfying filmmakers there that you could have a contact with your viewers, a direct contact. Especially this is happening at the film festivals where uh, documentary film festivals are growing all around the world and you can see uh, dozens or hundreds of uh, festivals everywhere and it's, uh, it's a great. I would like to admit that uh, today's tendency is uh, also offer documentaries through the VOD platforms so documentaries are shift from the televisions and cinemas traditional traditional platforms to internet what is a trend and I think it is also the future of documentaries. Thanks God uh, Czech documentary scene is very wide and uh, you can see various different approaches of the filmmakers towards the matter of uh, documentary. There are filmmakers who uh, would uh, debate the world, uh, the term of documentary, which is not precise according to some of the Czech documentary makers, because uh, there is nothing uh, like to be documented, purely documented in, in a film. For documentation we have another platforms like papers, magazines, scientific, scientific conferences, etc. So, uh, documentary is a part of the part of the film, part of part part of art, and uh, there are many different genres in documentary. So, in so-called documentary, so the scene is very wide. I would like to add that in last few years, Czech documentary scene turned towards politic. What was a topic? Uh, after 1989 revolution uh, not very much uh, reflected by documentary films, by creative documentary films. And in the last few years we can see uh, quite a lot of uh, socially or politically engaged uh, creative documentary films coming from the Czech Republic. Well, uh, it is an organization uh, founded by filmmakers themselves and the uh, main idea was and still is to serve the filmmakers to help them uh, to develop the ideas of the films with the help of the other uh, filmmakers like film, film directors, script writers, producers, camera persons and also to help them with financing and find a way how to distribute, how to display the film to the audiences. So, uh, institute uh, area of, uh, uh, of, uh, the, of, of job of the institute is, is wide. It's from the development to the distribution. Well, obviously, uh, this advantage is uh, that we don't have so many of the regional funds, so the funding is an uh, obstacle for makers uh, from Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, in some countries it's even difficult to find support from the local broadcasters. So some of our uh, filmmakers has to, has to look for money abroad. Let's say this is disadvantage and uh, talking about advantages, let's say that this region is not uh, used to, to be politically correct, so you can see the films which would provoke uh, uh, with tough questions, uh, with, which could be very innovative, uh, very much personal, using the humor, irony, uh, surrealism. So I think that in Central and Eastern European films you can find a uh, touch of uh, of other subjects, of uh, other matters of the art, that the films are connected with, uh, co with contemporary art, with conceptual art, uh, uh, they have essayistic forms uh, and uh, they are engaged socially. 
I think that uh, that filmmakers has a uh, great chance chance to connect uh, people who would never never communicate uh, with each other. So uh, you can be on the both side of the ba battlefield. This is only metaphor. Uh, I'm not talking about war zones films, but uh, you have chance to uh, get closer to the to the to the societies or to the to the individuals who are somehow on the opposite side of the political spectrum and you as the author could uh, uh, make your own artistic vision and uh, connect uh, something what is not connectable this is a this is a challenge for the documentary makers as i see